What's going on everybody? Jukebox360 here and I am here to bring you a tutorial on how to live stream your iPhone, iPad, basically any iOS device that you're trying to stream uh, to Twitch or to YouTube, whatever it is you want to decide. Because um, I've had quite the amount of people sit there and ask me, Juke, how the hell do you do that? How do you hell do that? How do you hell do that? So I'm here to answer you. Excuse the mess. For all of you who know, I am in the middle of a move, hence there's so many boxes, and that mess is only going to get bigger. But let's get to it. Uh, I have an iPhone 5, so this is going to be for an iPhone 5, but if you have an iPhone 4, it's going to be the same exact way. There's no difference. iPad, doesn't matter what you have, it should work the same. So right off the bat, I'm just going to go ahead and manually show you guys what you need, and then I'm going to show you uh, an image um, on my PC. So, what you're going to need is an adapter. This is the adapter right there, okay? Just a simple, uh, you know, iPhone connection to HDMI. Simple enough. You don't have an iPhone 5, you get the iPhone 4 version of this. That's what I'm going to show you. So, first off, let's get to the browser, okay? So, if you want to stream it wirelessly, you can use a program called airplay now it's not an individual program it is a feature built on ios you can use it with the apple tv um, and i believe there is also a separate software that allows you to use it as well um, but airplay is basically you beam whatever's on your iphone directly to your television you can mirror it every little thing you show goes on your tv as you guys can see so that is AirPlay. That is a wireless way of doing it. And you need a program called Apple TV. So let's get to the hardware. This is the adapter I just showed you. It's a Lightning Digital AV adapter. It's $49 on the Apple Store. I believe it's the same on the Amazon, anywhere else you look. Don't even bother with the generic ones. This one works the best, in my opinion. It's going to save you the least amount of issues. Just use it. So as you see, it's just the uh, you know the Apple connection straight to HDMI. If you look inside, there's your HDMI connection. There's your normal power, so you can you know put power to it and whatnot. Um, it's not a mini HDMI. This is normal HDMI. So that's what you, uh, that's what you'd be getting right there if you have an iPhone 5 or an iPad, one of the newest ones. Now, if you have an iPhone 4. This is the other product you're looking at right here. It's the 30 pin. Same exact thing, guys. 30 pin to HDMI to the 30 pin. There's your HDMI. There is your 30 pin. Let's go back here. There's your HDMI and 30 pin. Again, you do not need anything else other than that. Plug the HDMI directly into your capture card. Problem solved. Now, here is the Apple TV. It's 100 bucks. Okay. Twice the twice the price of those cables. Now, if it were me, this is why you need Apple TV right here is for the AirPlay feature that I was telling you guys about, which, as you guys can see, is right here. This will allow you to mirror anything on your iPhone directly to your TV. Again, there are programs that allow you to do this online, but they're not really worth it. And here is why. Let's say you're trying to live stream the game directly and you want to record your gameplay. When you're using AirPlay, it's going to lag your audio off by about half a second to a full second. Now, that might not seem like such a big deal, but depending on the game you play, sound is important. So if you're trying to do something based off of what you hear and you're a second off, you're not going to do very good. Um, so if it were me, which this is why I use it, I stick to the adapters. Lightning Digital AV Adapter for 49 bucks works perfect i've never had an issue with it you plug it directly into your capture card problem solved you will have no audio issues the audio sounds the best because it does go through hdmi color colors look the best sharpness everything looks great again if you're on the other iphone the older one here you are right here with the apple 30 pin i don't know why it's uh showing me this one where the hell's the error there it is yeah right there see and it's showing you the connection that you got to go into 
So if you have an iPhone 4, iPhone 4S, this is the adapter you need, $39. If you have an iPhone 5 or an iPad, this is the one you will need for $49. Um, that's pretty much it. As I said, all you have to do is plug in the adapter straight into your iPhone, right into the bottom. Plug it in. You are good to go. From first-hand experience, I recommend the cables just for the simple fact that you want no lossless in audio, no picture degradation or anything like that. And most importantly, you don't want any lag. The lag is a big issue. I'm not going to lie. If lag wasn't an issue, I wouldn't be too concerned. But the fact that lag is when you use AirPlay, not by a lot, but it's there. You need every second you can, so I stick with this cable. Now, uh, I mean, that, that's pretty much it. That's the best advice I can give you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for following my channel on twitch.tv slash jukeboxer60. Thank you guys for subbing to my YouTube. I hope this video helped you. I will do an in-depth tutorial on how you can hook everything up to your capture card, but it should be pretty basic. HDMI directly in your capture card. If you don't have HDMI, I believe they sell AV versions of these, but I wouldn't know. I don't use anything that doesn't have HDMI in it, basically. Uh, so, once again, guys, thank you for watching me, hanging out, having a good time. You can feel free to follow me at my Twitter, at iJukebox360. Again, that is I. Jukebox 360, not just Jukebox 360. My Twitch is twitch.tv slash Jukebox 360. Live stream basically every day around, uh, I want to say, let's see, at the time of recording this video, around uh, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to about 2 in the morning a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will be moving soon. And I will actually be live streaming twice as often now. This is my full-time job. This is what I do. Thank you guys so much for hanging out, having a good time with me, and I will see you guys tonight. Peace.